Hey guys, Mitch here. Today during Google's I.O. conference, I released some exciting news for iOS users. Google has announced the official Drive application, Google Drive, for iOS, along with an update to the Docs, which did bring offline editing to support for those users. Now, opening up Google Drive's application, you will be prompted to the sign-in login, which you can easily go ahead and sign into your Google account. And after logging in, you will be prompted to Google Drive's interface. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what Google Drive is, basically it's a cloud-based storage that allows you to upload your files and folders for your friends, family, or yourself to view. This may be um, similar to Dropbox if you are familiar with that, but it's made by Google, a separate company. Now looking at the interface, you do have a refresh button in the lower left hand corner, along with your settings which you can easily sign in and sign out of your account. Now one downside to the iOS app on Google Drive is that you'll be unable to actually upload files to Google Drive itself from your device. You have to do this on a desktop, Mac, or a PC to actually upload, but on the iOS app you'll be able to actually to view the contents of your files and folders along with editing some of the folders. So looking at it we do have our My Drive which allows you to see your files and folders in Google's Drive. We do have the Pictures folder here and clicking the arrow on the right hand side will give you some details along with its modification date if you want to have it available offline private or the people that are the um, the owners of this folder. Now clicking the little button low, lower left hand corner will allow you to rename the item if you would like and clicking the bottom right hand corner will allow you to add people either email addresses, groups, or names for if they want to either view it or edit the contents of the folder. Now if you would like to actually view the contents of your folder here you can easily go ahead and select one of these images here and you will see we now have the iOS 6 pictures including the actual logo. We have the Facebook app here along with the Maps application here. Now if you're unable to actually view one of these applications in Google Drive, you'll be able to actually open it up in an application such as iFile. Now this is great if you have an unsupported um, archive type such as like a zip folder or something like that and you want to unarchive it in iFile then you'll be able actually to open it up. We can use the image viewer in iFile to actually see the image or if you are, are opening up a video you can use the video viewer and you'll be able to see the video and the contents of that folder or file. In addition to that we also have some different sections in Google Drive that allow you to see the files that other people have shared with you. You can see our start which allows you to see easier files and folders of files that are more important to you than you can star. We also have our recent files and then if you would like to have the offline files you can have them offline if you would like. So guys this has been a look at Google Drive. If interested you can head over to the App Store and pick up Google Drive for free. If you guys do like these videos don't forget to give a like up, leave any comments below and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks guys.